So today I have an install guide for you on the grill guards that fit inside of the front bumper on the C8 Corvette. So unfortunately, those of us that ordered the 2020 through 23 uh, C8 Corvette did not receive these grill guards and I'll show you in a second how beat up the radiators get without them. So now I, I have a set of these already on the car. I'm gonna show you how to install them on your C8 Corvette today in this video. So first things first, to get started, if you have a front lip on your car, I know a lot of people have the Z51 style. This is the 5VM style. I will link the video to this particular lip in the video towards the end somewhere for you. So if you're interested in this, check out that video too. However, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this lip because there's some rubber under panels underneath that we're gonna need to unbolt to get up in here. All right, so the first step is to remove the T15 bolts that are here. These have already been removed because I removed my front lip, but you're gonna want to remove any of them that hold this plastic panel in just below your radiator. So we're gonna remove all of the T15s and then there are some seven millimeter bolts as well. So we're gonna get under here and we're going to remove all of those clips. Please ignore the scraped up areas. I talk in another video about how low this car is, um, specifically all the aerodynamic panels underneath, they are gonna get scraped up. And then you're gonna have two inside the fender well, directly behind the air dam. All right, so once you have the panel unbolted, oh look, we got a leaf friend here. Once you get it unbolted, you're gonna pull it down just like that. So my recommendation is to completely remove it. There is one bolt up in here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and remove that real quick. All right, so once you have the plastic under panel removed, there are some screws up top and they are located just behind your bezel right here. So those are gonna be seven millimeters. They're kind of difficult to remove. You can use a little wrench, a ratcheting wrench or a ratchet if you've got a So small. seven millimeter bolts are right here and you can get a small ratchet in here from an angle. But because you remove that under panel, I'm gonna go ahead and recommend that you reach up just in front of the radiator and get on those bolts and you remove them. So there's gonna be three of them. That's the first one. Here's what they look like. There's gonna be a second one there. So we're gonna go ahead and remove it. And then the third one, you can see the back of it right there. And might actually have enough of a gap right here in the front to get to it. Let's see. All right, so that's your third seven millimeter bolt. So once you have those three bolts removed, this part here is called the bezel, right? So if you pull out a little bit, you'll see a little hole here. There's a little tab on the inside of the bezel that pops into there. Don't pull too hard, it should kind of just pop out. And so same thing with the back, you just kind of tug a little bit and the bezel comes off. So please, please, please make sure you remove all three of those seven millimeter bolts before tugging on it. I don't want you to break your beautiful car. So once the bezel's out of the way, you can really see what we're working with here. So all these little nicks on the, the fins of the radiator, that's from bugs, debris, rocks, pebbles, if you will. And that's what we're trying to prevent in the future. So the nice thing about these grill guards is they fit in here and 
from the backside, they bolt and they protect that radiator from a lot of that debris. Now it's not gonna prevent it 100%, but it should allow enough air to flow through the radiator to keep the car cool and prevent that debris from damaging those, those fins. This is how the grill guards will look. When you pull them out of the package, they will have some metal tabs on the edges. Now these metal tabs, some of them do need to get bent into place. So there will also be some brackets and those brackets bolt. They bolt to these areas like this. And I'll show you the exact configuration of this in a second. But the reason they bolt like this is so that you can attach this to the bezel where you remove those three seven millimeter bolts to hold this into place. Now this corner tab here is gonna go, it's gonna go right up here on an anchor that you're gonna put in place just like this. So let me show you that. So this is your anchor and you're gonna go ahead and slide it, slide it down in place over this plastic opening on this tab right here. Now the bolt is an Allen head key, keyed bolt, and this is gonna be the bolt that corresponds to this. Now it probably shipped inside this anchor, but you're gonna wanna remove it to put it in place. And so hold on to this, set it to the side, and I'll show you how to mount this in a second. All right, so in preparing your grill guard or your radiator guard for install, you're gonna wanna take the 3M adhesive that came in the kit and you're gonna wanna put it on the top side of these flipped up tabs. I say the top side, but this is actually the bottom of the grill. And so you want the 3M adhesive facing up. Now this is gonna attach underneath the lip of the bumper where that bezel is or that opening is. So not the very bottom of the bumper, but just where that opening is. And so it's gonna be two per grill. There should be four included in your kit. Now we're gonna flip it over and we are going to look at this upper right corner. So this is a grill guard that hasn't been done. And then this is one that's been bent into place. So because, because this is going to be from the inside of the bumper, this uppermost hole here is going to be bent up so that it can mount to this anchor that you just put into place. These holes right here are going to have brackets and those brackets are going to mount to your hole locations where your factory bezel goes. So I'm going to show you how to put these brackets on. All right, so from the driver's side, facing the front of the car. So remember this tab is going to be towards your wheel and tire, towards the outside of the car. Your first bracket, you wanna bend into a shape similar to this. So they should have come pre-bent. They should look about like that. This is how this kit came. This is just kind of how I've bent it into shape. So now what you're gonna wanna do is take the included hardware and you're gonna want to run it from the back side of your kit. And so what I'm gonna do, is run it like this. I'm gonna try and square it up. So this is going to be 10 millimeter nut. And then your kit will come with an Allen key or a hex key as some people like to call it. What you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and tighten it up. So I'm gonna get it kinda snug and then I'm gonna move that bracket how I want it. So in this case, this bracket is gonna be over here like that. All right. And so for the next one, I'm going to go, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna run the hardware from the back side. a nut on there. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it into place. Now 
Now, if you leave these slightly snug, it gives yourself, or slightly loose, I should say, it gives yourself a little bit of adjustment to slide this around. So these nuts are lock nuts. So even if you don't tighten them all the way, they're not gonna loosen up anymore, but it should give you enough adjustment to get this into place to mount it. So now for the driver's side, now that we have those brackets on there, we have our 3M tape on the bottom. The, this one I've already peeled the red off of. You're going to slide it from the bottom where you've opened the rain guard or removed the under panel. And you're gonna slide it up. Now the important thing is, is not to let this hit the radiator too much on the way up. Otherwise you could do the very thing you're trying to prevent right now and you could tear it up a little bit. All right, now that I've gotten the radiator guard mostly into place, I'm going to move it up and I'm gonna pay attention to those brackets I put on earlier. So this one, I'm going to have to rotate and this is why I say leave these kind of loose. So I'm gonna flip it around because I actually put it on backwards. And push that radiator guard up into place and it should sit parallel to where those seven millimeters go. So I got the that one and then the middle one. There's no bracket that goes here in the middle, but you do have your bracket on the outside. So we're gonna go ahead, throw a bolt in there. All right, so after you get that Allen key in there, you're gonna wanna snug it up, but not make it, I'd say too tight because you are gonna have to adjust this a little bit. So I'm gonna tighten it just a little bit. Basically so that grill guard doesn't fall down. So then you're going to lift it up and you're going to align those holes like we talked about earlier. So the brackets may not be 100% lined up and that's fine because once you throw the bolts through it and you start tightening it, it's gonna pull it in, draw it in close. Now, that 3M tape that's on the bottom, you're gonna make sure you peel the red off or the adhesive part and you're gonna stick it to the bottom of this grill, like the inside right in this area here where you can see with my finger. You're gonna stick it to the bottom. All right, so on your bezel, you have those three anchors that are from the factory that your seven millimeter bolts go into from the back side. Now remember, this was pretty tricky to, to remove. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reinstall it and then you have to tighten those seven millimeter bolts with a little bit of space between the grill and this bezel. That's arguably the most difficult part of this entire install. It takes a little bit of patience. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and make sure this tab is lined up, make sure your outside tabs are lined up. And go ahead and push this in there, like such. Line up that inner tab until I hear a little click or a little pop. Then I'm going to take my seven millimeters. Now I'm going to do the outside ones first. So I'm going to get them started by hand. And I'm just going to slowly rotate them. And remember, you're tightening this and it's backwards. So you're lefty loosey, righty tighty. You're gonna to have to think about it from a backwards perspective. So I'm actually turning the top of the bolt towards the passenger side of the car to tighten it. Okay, that one's in place. I'm gonna line this one up and do the same exact thing. Now the key to this is to tighten these as much as possible by hand until you can't turn the seven millimeter bolt anymore. Just because in a second, when you have to put tools in here, you'll realize how difficult this actually is. So I'm trying to tighten the inner and outer as much as possible. Once I have them kind of snug, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna hand thread the center one now there's no bracket that goes through the center one, so it might be a little easier. It should just kind of fall into place. You won't have to mess with trying to get that bracket aligned. 
All right, so once you have them in place, you're going to want to track down a seven millimeter wrench or a socket that you can fit in there. Now I cannot get a socket in there. I'll be honest, not easily anyways. And so I'm going to slowly turn. If you have a seven millimeter ratcheting wrench, you will be in heaven right now. I do not. So I'm just gonna do it by hand. You're gonna wanna tighten all three of those seven millimeter bolts that hold this grill guard in place. Next step, I'm gonna throw that rain guard back on. Don't forget to put this bolt in first before you tuck it all up. Your seven millimeter bolt is going to be this bolt. The rest are gonna be T15. Once you have the driver's side on, go ahead and install the passenger side uh, using the same process that you used on the driver's Today, side. I have had this set of radiator guards on this car for 3000 miles and all of the damage that you see in there was from before I installed those. Um, I drove the car for about a thousand miles before installing those. And that's from a thousand miles worth of driving. All those nicks and such are in there are just from that. So these grow guards work, they're high quality, they're powder coated, they're metal. They are nice and firm in place. Uh, I think they make the front of the car look good. They certainly darken the front. This is what you need for your car. If you haven't purchased this and installed it, you need to. Otherwise, your radiators are gonna look like garbage. Uh, go to a Cars and Coffee, check out a C8 that doesn't have these and see how bent up all the fins are in their radiators. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have other uh, how-to guides on my channel. Uh, you might find them useful. Uh, this is a 2023 2LT C8. If you were wondering, it's highly modified. Uh, you can check out the other install videos I have for it on the channel and please hit like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more.